up-and-coming mineral sands player, Image Resources, is ready to push the button on its high-grade, zircon-rich, boudinaring mineral sands project after all conditions precedent were satisfied to draw down on its $50 million loan facility. Funds will be received in coming weeks and will be used to finalize construction of the company's flagship project, located just 80 kilometers north of Perth in Western Australia. Many ASX juniors are artfully skilled at turning out feasibility studies but often not so good at traversing the debt and equity markets to make that quantum leap to production. Image however, has done just that with $50 million in debt now locked away to complement the $25 million equity raise that was banked just a month or so ago. Project construction has been underway since March and first production from the mine is scheduled in the last quarter of 2018, after a 6-7 to seven month plant build. With a relatively low capital project cost of just $52 million, a binding off-take agreement in place for 100% of production, projected payback in less than two years and heavy mineral prices on the rise, the stars appear to be aligning for this little-known, but soon-to-be mineral sands producer. Managing Director Patrick Mutt said, receiving formal notice that all conditions precedent to drawdown of funds under the LNSA are satisfied is a very significant milestone for Image as it removes the final hurdle with respect to receipt of the balance of capital funds required to complete the construction and commissioning of the Boonanering project. Image's deposits lie on horizontally continuous, northwest trending old coastlines over 60 kilometers long, in a region where excellent support infrastructure exists north of the regional town of Jinjin. The company holds a major land holding and expanding heavy mineral sand resource inventory in the highly prospective North Perth Basin of WA Titanium Minerals and Zircon prices are closely related to global economic activity and there is a strong market outlook for these commodities in the medium term. Boon and Erring contains the valuable heavy minerals zircon, rutile, ilmenite and leucoxine, but the economics are heavily driven by sought-after zircon that provides 71% of the project revenue, from just 29% of the product volume. Aluka Resources recently increased its reference price for zircon sold by 15% to USD $1,410 per ton effective from 1 April 2018. This decision is important for Image, as the new zircon price set by Aluka is 8% higher than that used in the BFS. For the Boonanering project, reported in November 2017, the recent price increase could further enhance the overall economics of the Boonanering project given that Oluca's price for premium-grade zircon in China will be used to determine the market price for Images product. The project BFS shows a pre-tax NPV of $197 million and an IRR of 104%, with an initial mine life of 8 years. Importantly, Image will look to front-end its cash flows to effect a quick payback with the company predicting it will spit out an EBITDA of $56 million in 2019 and $107 million in 2020 with an average of $35 million a year over the ensuing three-year period. The company has a market cap of $99 million and just over 861 million ordinary shares on issue at present. The BFS only took in Images Boonanering and Atlas projects, however the company still has another 40 meters tons of resources outside the BFS across five other projects areas. Whilst heavy minerals grades are often focused on when making mineral sands peer comparisons, Image says that its zircon grade of up to 24.5% helps to propel Boonanering into a class of its own when its valuable heavy minerals grades are stacked up against others. The Boonanering project is one of the highest valuable heavy minerals endowed projects in Australia right now and its relatively quiet arrival to the ranks of the country's mineral sands producers will no doubt turn a few industry heads. The project is fully permitted and Image already owns the processing equipment required to produce heavy mineral concentrates. 
the Buninering deposit will be extracted by conventional, shallow, dry, open-cut mining methods with the resultant product to be trucked to Bunbury Port, for shipment to China. According to the company, the project will produce approximately 220,000 tons of heavy mineral concentrate per annum.